Hello Fluties! If you don't know me already, my name is Haley Smith aka Pretty Flute Girl and I want to welcome you back to my channel. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to play our C major scale and arpeggio. When learning a new scale, we don't have to learn the entire scale at first. Let's go ahead and just worry about the first five notes. On the screen, you'll see I have the C major scale, but I'm only showing the first five notes. Our starting note is going to, of course, be C because that's the name of the scale. But now, can you tell me what are the names of the other four notes? All right, so let's say them together. It's going to be C, D, E, F, and G. You'll notice compared to the B flat major scale, we don't have any flats and we don't have any sharps. So the C major scale is all natural. It will be all the white keys on the piano, no black keys, and it will have zero sharps, zero flats. I would really like to go into theory of how this will work, but I'm going to save that for another video because if you don't know me already, I am a huge music theory fan and I know I could go at a whole like tangent about it and I don't feel like doing it quite yet and wasting your time. I wanna hurry us up and get to the playing part. Now that we know the first five notes of the scale, let's go ahead and play it together. I am of course going to have the music on the screen and I'm going to have the finger chart ready for you to play right with the scale. We're not gonna go too fast. We're gonna keep our normal tempo, which is quarter note equals 60. And we are going to play it as whole notes. Whole notes, one more time, is four clicks. It's four beats for every note that you're going to play in the scale. One, two, three, four. On the screen is our entire C major scale. We already know the first five notes. We know that there isn't any sharps or flats like that of the B flat major. So let's now name all of the notes of the C major scale. Let's say the notes together. We have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. We're going to now play the scale together at quarter note equals 60, so we're not going too fast. If you find yourself going too fast, that's when you're going to stumble. We never want to go faster than what we are capable just yet. So keep it at quarter note equals 60. One, until you feel that you are super comfortable with it, it's all muscle memory, you don't even have to think about the notes anymore. Then you can bump it up. One, two, three, four.
All right, Fluties. So we were able to do our five note scale in C major, and we were able to do the entire C major scale as whole notes. So now we are going to look at our arpeggio. For anyone who saw my previous video, can you tell me what an arpeggio is? All right, so you know how on a piano they could play about three fingers or more at the exact same time, which is called a chord. It will sound something like this. Well, I am so sorry to disappoint you, but flute players, we can't do that. Instead, we are going to spell out each note and we are doing it in thirds. The fancy dictionary meaning for arpeggios is the notes of a chord played in succession, either ascending or descending. To play these notes, we are going to need our first, third, and fifth degree of the C major scale. So now let's take a look at our C major scale. I have numbered it from one through eight. Tell me. What are the notes that are landing on the first, third, and fifth notes of the C major scale? Yeah, so it will be C, E, and G. Okay friends, so I have one more step for you. When playing the arpeggio, we can't leave it at just C, E, and G. We need to still play the high C that's at the end of the scale and to turn around and come down the arpeggio. Now that we know these fun facts and we already have a good idea of how to play our C major arpeggio, let's go ahead and play it. So you can take a wild guess what tempo I'm going to say, but I'm gonna say it anyway. We're going to do it at quarter note equals 60, so we're not going too fast. We're going to do whole notes, which is four beats for every note. One, two, three, four. Okay y'all, so how did you feel about it? Do you still need a little more time to feel comfortable? That's okay, I get it. You gotta keep playing it and that's fine. Even if you say, okay, Haley, pretty food girl, Miss Haley, whichever you wanna call me, I already know how to do this, I don't need to keep playing it. You're dead wrong. You always should play your scales and get it to a whole other level. You wanna keep challenging yourself. And the best way you can keep challenging yourself is play it as a warm up. Before you play your solos, use your skills to not only practice, but to warm up to play whatever solo that you may have ready. This could be your essential elements books, this could be an actual solo like a Mozart concerto or whatever case may be. You still can play your scale and keep taking it to the next level. Don't forget to show the love, hit the like, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and follow me on Twitter. Keep up the hard work, keep floating it up pretty girl style, and I will see you next time. Bye!